Hello, and welcome to Operations Management. I'm Professor Lisa Bussum, and in this series of videos, we're going to talk about what operations management is, why we study it, and how we can actually delve into understanding operations for different organizations. People may be wondering why we study operations. Well, it's how organizations get things done. Whenever you walk into a store and you see a certain number of people on staff, that's actually part of operations management, trying to determine how many people you need to staff an organization. In addition, what kind of inventory they hold. That's also part of operations management. How much, how quickly we have to order things, that's part of operations. If you've gone to a theme park and you've looked at how they structure the lines for rides, that's also an area of operations management called queuing. So there's so many different things associated with operations. It really is how organizations get things done. And we're not just talking about for-profit organizations, corporations, not-for-profit organizations, um, places such as museums, educational institutions. They also deal with operations management. For-profit, they are uh, obligated to make a profit for their stakeholders. And the best way to do that is to have a lean operations. Manufacturing, that's what most people think about when they think about operations management because they're thinking about raw materials being converted into products and then being delivered to a customer. Service organizations, if you go to get your hair cut, that's also going to include operations management from the moment you walk into the hair salon to the time you've gotten your hair cut and you've paid for it. There are a variety of aspects of that that are all governed by operations management. In fact, people have studied operations management with all different kinds of organizations, and they've recognized that nearly 80% of any organization has operations management. That's a huge portion. So you can see that even if you have a solid accounting firm uh, department, uh, marketing department, human resources department, uh, technology, research and development, unless you can get your product or your service out to your customer in an efficient manner, you're not going to succeed. And that's why operations management is so important. Effective and efficient operations can make or break an organization. All you have to do is think about of the success of organizations such as Amazon.com, and also think about all the problems that the U.S. Postal Service is having. A lot of it has to do with operations management, and that's what we're going to be studying. We're going to be taking a look at operations management from a process perspective, and in our next session, we're going to talk about process basics. I'll see you then.